What's up, you guys? This is Kimberly from Umu I Die, and we're back with another video. Yeah. Hey, everybody, we're back again with another video, and today we're doing a quarantine challenge featuring me. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and, uh, drink so cheers uh, we're gonna be answering some questions about what I've been doing during this quarantine however my job in this is an essential job so I've been at work at the location so if I catch corona I'm taking my job to court <laughs> coronavirus no I'm kidding oh uh, yeah but we've been at work because we essential so Sorry about everybody else. But go ahead and answer these questions for you. So let's begin. Oh, yeah. And I was challenged by my good sis, uh, Pretty Maya. Go check her channel out to do the good old quarantine video. So, yeah. So question one, who am I? Uh, my name is Kimberly. I'm the oldest of the sisters of Un Umuada. Oh, I'm getting a little thirsty. Yeah, so I'm the oldest sister, right? Uh... The age, I'm 29. Yay, just had a birthday yesterday and that was pretty awesome. What did I do? I did a whole bunch of nothing, but I enjoyed that nothing because I got to chill for real. Next question, what's your channel about? Well, our channel is primarily about vlogs. We mostly like to just show y'all what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not with my sister, so it's gonna be from two different field of views or two different cities one's from houston and the others from lubbock sad to say but yeah for the most part we do vlogs uh a little bit of advice from what we know not just the bs that people google and pretend to know for views but from the stuff that we've actually experienced you know yeah, I told you travel vlogs, vlogs, advice, and a little bit of fashion, because I like fashion. Yeah, I like to throw in fashion. Yeah, I like fashion. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. Why did you want to start your YouTube channel? Um, what motivated you to start? Honestly, Aluchi, the middle sister, she'd been pushing for a YouTube channel for years, and... One day she just finally said, okay, we're, we're doing it. You know, no questions asked or whatever. And if you saw our very first video, the, uh, what was it? That drink that everybody was getting, the Capricola, whatever it's called. She literally just like, we're doing it, we're setting up. It doesn't matter, just uh, bring all your makeup and we're gonna do this challenge. And that's really just how it started. I personally like doing it because it, keeps me close with my sisters. I don't really get to spend that much time with them and I guess this is how, to me, we stick together. So that's kind of why I do it. Next question. Things you're doing to cope with the quarantine. Nothing, cause my ass gotta be at work. So I take that back. I'm missing going out because all I can do is go to work or go to club Walmart, club Target, club the grocery store and that's it rona gotta get because we don't like her rona gotta go on now she done been here too long that's enough time with the family you gots to go bye next question what's one thing that youtube has taught you to be patient because lord knows i don't have a lot of patience I get mad when things don't shut off, like immediately, you understand? So it's taught me that things take time, you know? If you really want something, it'll come to you within, how did I say it? Good things just take time if you get what I'm saying. So that's one of the things that it taught me. Oh, and sub for subs is a scam, that doesn't work. So if you're watching this and you do subs, sub for subs or whatever that is, that's uh, don't do that no more, because it's, it, it, it. If you could start all over, what would you do differently? 
If I could start YouTube all over, what would I do differently? Uh, networking, I guess. Because your channel really grows amongst that YouTube community at first. I don't know. I can't give you advice on how it grows after because I ain't there yet. But I know it grows with your YouTube community, your supporters, all that stuff. So I would say I should have started networking way, way, way back when I first started. But that's what I get for not doing my research. So Crisp. What do you like about YouTube and what don't you like you about YouTube? I don't like how they keep muting my damn uh, song choices for my videos. Yeah, I said it. I don't like how you keep muting my damn song choices and flagging my damn videos down. The artists are okay with us using their songs. So stop with the copyright. No, I'm kidding. But um, I don't know. I don't like that it's kind of a shady business, you know? Like, if you try to work with somebody, people are so scared and timid because they think that you're going to cheat them out when we're all in the same race, you know? I, I personally just feel like, hey, if you really want this to work, you have to give it your all. So, that, I guess that's what I hate about it. What I like about YouTube is the, although they keep editing out my music... I like the creativity about it. Like it, like I get to do whatever I want, as long as it's, you know, PG or, you know, it don't offend the kids, you know. But other than that, that's pretty much what I like about it. How has it affected your personal life? It hasn't. No, I lied. It has, cause sometimes I'll be really tired. Cause you know, everybody got that day-to-day -day job and I just, you know, I know, okay, I, I have to get this done or else I won't have time because I have to go to work, you know. So I say it's it's more stuff to do, especially because it's not paying. So, you know, it just takes dedication and time and proper planning, you know. So I guess that's how it's affected my personal life. Next question. How did she say it again in that video? Next question, Tamika. Yeah, next question. Brian, what? Uh, moving on. Okay. What's your overall goal for your channel? What do you want to get out of this? Yeah. I would say the basic answer, I would like to see our channel grow. I want to see it become one of those big platforms that people always watch. You know? We try to be as original as we can. We Everything that we post is not acted on or anything. That's really how we be, so. And it has been growing, like, slowly, but not as fast as, you know, the next best thing, but it is growing slowly, and I appreciate that every day. To so the people who actually do believe in us and actually do watch and see the crazy stuff that we do, thank you so much. Like, literally, literally, thank you so much, because it's not easy doing that stuff, you know? It's intimidating, and your biggest enemy is yourself. Like, it doesn't matter if, you know, XYZ watches your channel and, you know, they feel about it. You can watch your video and be like, man, this can be so much better. And that repetitive cycle can keep going and going and going. And, you know, your biggest critique is yourself. So, I would say for, that was completely off topic, but I would say it's still just for our channel to keep growing the way that it is, so. And the last question, is Rona affecting your ability to create content? Meaning, um, like is it creating your, our, my ability to go outside and do certain things? Well, yes and no. Cause I can still go to like public places and vlog if I wanted to, but because of the state that the world is in, who really wants to see how things have, you know, become lately, like our, our new normal. Nobody wants to see like the grocery stores half empty or, you know, it's barely anybody outside or people with masks, it's kind of weird. So 
that's why I say yes and no because you can still go outside and vlog but who really wants to see that stuff it's kind of more so negative than it is positive if you understand well that's just how I see it so both yes and no to that answer and of course since we do travel vlogs it's affected the traveling so but other than that no everything's been pretty much the same so thanks for sticking around to the end of this video if you like the video please remember to like and comment and subscribe because we need those okay we need those if you don't like and comment at least subscribe so you can see the next stuff that we post because you never know what might happen oh and before i forget i'm tagging that's so sonia for the quarantine challenge so you up next sis if you're watching this video, go on and check her channel. I provided the links below in the description box. That's right, y'all. You go, girl. Right, right. Bye, people. Just run away.